Kenya is planning to create 1 million jobs for youths in the country through the digital space. Cabinet Secretary Ministry for Information, Communication and Digital Economy, Elud Owalo, said this will help Kenyans improve their digital skills. The ICT Secretary spoke in Kirinyaga County during the celebrations to mark the International Day for Universal Access to Information. Through the Jitume program launched early this year, the government is seeking to provide access to digital skills, e-services, and online opportunities to the youths. The ICT ministry is in the process of rolling out 1,450 digital hubs in a bid to create over 1 million online jobs for the country's burgeoning young population. So far, the government has rolled out free public Wi-Fi, targeting all the towns and shopping centers in the country. We believe that with the digitalization, all stakeholders will be able to access information real-time from wherever they are. The world is today one global economy. Digitization is the way to go. It is a critical enabler to access to information. Information, Communication and Digital Economic Cabinet Secretary Elio Dowalo says youth graduating from colleges and universities should not be job seekers but should strive to acquire digital skills that are relevant in the job market. The CS father says he is planning to meet with the National Assembly to review data privacy policies and laws in Kenya to safeguard data privacy. We did constitute a whole sector working group just to look at our operational environment, discern the emerging issues, and then advise us on what we need to do, working together as an industry, moving forward so that we are proactive as a country in the digital space. The Principal Secretary of State Department for Broadcasting and Telecommunication, Edward Kisingani, has said the government is planning to have 25,000 more Wi-Fi hotspots in the next five years, targeting markets and bus stops in a bid to spur e-commerce. There is a possibility or an affordable internet. It depends on how we deal with certain factors, including what is the source of that data, what is conveying the data. Are we going to use the tradition of frequencies or are we migrating to satellites? Edna Murungi, reporting for Prime Edition.